five kings attack Gibeon. Now it came about when Adonizedek king of Jerusalem heard that Joshua had captured Ai, and had utterly destroyed it just as he had done to Jericho and its king. So he had done to Ai and its king, and that the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel and were within their land. That he feared greatly because Gibeon was a great city, like one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all its men were mighty. Therefore Adonizedek king of Jerusalem sent word to Hoam king of Hebron, to Piram king of Jarmuth, to Jephiah king of Lechurj, and to Deba king of Eglon, saying, Come up to me and help me, and let's attack Gibeon, for it has made peace with Joshua and with the sons of Israel. So the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lechurj, and the king of Eglon, gathered together and went up, they with all their armies, and camped by Gibeon and fought against it. Then the men of Gibeon sent word to Joshua at the camp at Gilgal, saying, Do not abandon your servants. Come up to us quickly and save us and help us, for all the kings of the Amorites that live in the hill country have assembled against us. So Joshua went up from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the valiant warriors. And the Lord said to Joshua, Do not fear them, for I have handed them over to you. Not one of them will stand against you. So Joshua came upon them suddenly by marching all night from Gilgal. And the Lord brought them into confusion before Israel, and he struck them down in a great defeat at Gibeon, and pursued them by the way of the ascent to Beth Horon, and struck them as far as Azekah and Makah. And as they fled from Israel, while they were at the descent of Beth Horon, the Lord hurled large stones from heaven on them as far as Azekah, and they died. There were more who died from the hailstones than those whom the sons of Israel killed with the sword. Then Joshua spoke to the Lord on the day when the Lord turned the Amorites over to the sons of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Sun, stand still at Gibeon, and Moon, at the valley of Ajalon. So the sun stood still, and the moon stopped, until the nation avenged themselves of their enemies. Is it not written in the book of Jashar? And the sun stopped in the middle of the sky and did not hurry to go down for about a whole day. There was no day like that before it or after it, when the Lord listened to the voice of the man. For the Lord fought for Israel. Then Joshua and all Israel with him returned to the camp at Gilgal. Victory at Makla. Now these five kings had fled and hidden themselves in the cave at Makla. And it was told to Joshua, saying, The five kings have been found hidden in the cave at Makla. So Joshua said, Roll large stones against the mouth of the cave, and post men by it to guard them. But do not stay there yourselves. Pursue your enemies and attack them from behind. Do not allow them to enter their cities, for the Lord your God has handed them over to you. It came about when Joshua and the sons of Israel had finished striking them down in a very great defeat, until they were destroyed, and the survivors of them who escaped had entered the fortified cities, that all the people returned to the camp, to Joshua and Makeda in peace. No one uttered a word against any of the sons of Israel. Then Joshua said, Open the mouth of the cave and bring these five kings out to me from the cave. They did so, and brought these five kings out to him from the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lechurj, and the king of Eglon. When they brought these kings out to Joshua, Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said to the leaders of the men of war who had gone with him, Come forward. Put your feet on the necks of these kings. So they came forward and put their feet on their necks. Joshua then said to them, Do not fear or be dismayed. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord will do this to all your enemies with whom you fight. So afterward Joshua struck them on put them to death and he hanged them on five trees. And they were hung on the trees until evening. Then it came about at sunset that Joshua gave the command, and they took them down from the trees and threw them into the cave where they had hidden themselves, and put large stones over the mouth of the cave, to this very day. Now Joshua captured Makeda on that day, and struck it and its king with the edge of the sword. He utterly destroyed it and every person who was in it. He left no survivor. So he did to the king of Makeda just as he had done to the king of Jericho. Joshua's conquest of southern Canaan. Then Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Makeda to Libna, and fought against Libna. And the Lord also handed it over to Israel, with its king, and he struck it on every person who was in it with the edge of the sword. He left no survivor in it. So he did to its king just as he had done to the king of Jericho. And Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Libna to Lechurj, and they camped by it and fought against it. And the Lord handed Lechurj over to Israel, and he captured it on the second day, and struck it on every person who was in it with the edge of the sword, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam king of Jizah came up to help Lechurj, and Joshua defeated him and his people until he had left him no survivor. 
and Joshua and all Israel with him passed on from Lachish to Eglon, and they camped by it and fought against it. They captured it on that day and struck it with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed on that day every person who was in it, according to all that he had done to Lachish. Then Joshua and all Israel with him went up from Eglon to Hebron, and they fought against it. And they captured it and struck it and its king and all its cities and all the persons who were in it with the edge of the sword. He left no survivor, according to all that he had done to Eglon. And he utterly destroyed it and every person who was in it. Then Joshua and all Israel with him returned to Debi, and they fought against it. He captured it and its king and all its cities, and they struck them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed every person who was in it. He left no survivor. Just as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Debir and its king, as he had also done to Libner and its king. So Joshua struck all the land, the hill country and the Negev, and the lowland and the slopes, and all their kings. He left no survivor, but he utterly destroyed all who breathed, just as the Lord, the God of Israel, had commanded. Joshua struck them from Kadesh Barnea even as far as Gaza, and all the country of Goshen even as far as Gibeon. Joshua captured all these kings and their lands at one time, because the Lord, the God of Israel, fought for Israel. So Joshua and all Israel with him returned to the camp at Gilgal.